everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Leora and I talk on air about books, reading, writing and sometimes other stuff as well. As you could have seen already by the intro, some things are changing here on the channel. I am deeply nervous already at the time of filming this. I haven't even edited it, I haven't even uploaded it, it's not even happening yet but it's... Ugh. Okay, this is a step I've been working towards for such a long time now and it just feels very nerve-wracking and exciting but nerve-wracking to like finally make it reality at this point. Oh and also hi, welcome. Welcome back to a new reading vlog. This is going to be a reading vlog but I feel like I have to address this first. So for the past 10 years already, I've been making online content. I set up my first YouTube channel called Mind Daisies when I was 15. I started in Dutch and I started uploading videos mostly about thrifting and painting, making art, and then later also about books. And then I switched to Dutch and I made videos in Dutch about books. And then when I graduated art school, I started this channel called Books with Leo in 2019, I believe. And I started talking about books in English and I've been loving making content on here so much, but there's also a bunch of other stuff I still do. So my Instagram is still called Mind Daisies. My Etsy shop where I sell my art is also still called Mind Daisies. Then all my writing work, if you didn't know, I'm also a writer, currently working on my first essay collection. My writing work is all getting published under my full name, Leo Rakonikens, and then also also my documentaries and films I made during film school. I don't really do that anymore, but that's also all under my full name. And then my YouTube was called Books with Leo. So it was a lot of different names and it was all very confusing. And I've known for a long time that I wanted to do a sort of rebranding, but I've been deeply nervous about actually doing it because it's like so scary if you're so used to the way things are and you're like, what if people can't find me? What if they, I don't know, will like unfollow me? Like, I'm, I'm not sure why I think this is so important to people because I know it's not, but like, what, what if, you know, people won't know anymore that I talk about books when my name is not like having books included in it. I know it's so silly, but it's one of the things I was worried about. So to cut to the chase, finally, I'm sorry, I'm a lengthy person. I can't tell a story quickly. It's just not in my fibers. Like I've been wanting to say from today on out, all of my social media is going to be called Leora Eileen and my YouTube channel is also going to be called Leora Eileen. Don't worry, I'll still be making the exact same content, literally the same content, just under a different name. And then my writing and my book when it's it's finally done is also going to be published under Leora Eileen. And then the next very, very exciting thing that I've been working on for over two years already at this point is my own website where I'll be selling my art from my own platform, my own shop, no more middlemen. Ah, oh, it's so exciting, but it's nerve wracking. Um, so the new store is opened from today and out as well. I'll put the link down below, leoraeileen.com, and here you can shop all Leora Eileen products. Oh my god. All my bookmarks, all my art, my tarot bookmarks, my witchy bookmarks. I will keep my Etsy open for the time being, but that's mostly for UK customers because I'm not able to ship to the UK from my own web shop. But I urge everybody else to check out my own new web shop and renewed website as well. I'm so excited. I did use a template made by Blog Pixie. She's absolutely amazing, but I've customized that template quite a bit. So there's definitely a lot of work has gone into this new website, new web shop. And yeah, all my social media has new handles as well. I just hope it's going to tie all my work and the things I do online together a bit more. So my illustration work, my work as a content creator, and then also my work as a writer. Definitely check out my new web shop. I would love for you to do that after you watch this video. Now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, let's talk about the things I'm reading. So as you guys know, I've been taking it a little bit easy this year with reading. I just wasn't in the biggest reading mood. I've been mostly in a TV watching mood and podcast listening mood. But recently I've had a bit an uptick in my reading again because I was just very excited about a few books and one of these books that I've been reading a whole lot in recently I've read like 100 pages in like two days um, and that is Hedge Witch by Sky McKenna I've already talked about this in my latest video where I went to the library and the bookshop and this is the most adorable middle grade book just look at it it's so cute in this book we follow the story of Cassandra and Cassandra basically lives in this boarding school. She doesn't really fit in, she's being bullied and it's a big struggle. And then she gets a letter that her mother has been missing for such a long time that she's now declared dead and that makes her a warden of the state and there's nobody to pay for her education so she has to go to an orphanage. She decides to run away and then she runs into a talking cat. And this talking cat is like, listen, Cassie, you're a witch actually. And your aunt is the hedge witch, which is like sort of the leader of all the witches. And actually we would love for you to come home and go to a witch academy. And she's like, what is going on? She goes with this talking cat, turns out she is a witch. This book is big on nature and cozy vibes and there's fairies and folklore and mushroom foresting. And it's just all so cozy and cute and it's, such a wonderful read so far. I've been reading this whilst listening to like sort of 
fairy, woods, ASMR, music, ambience, and it's been the best thing. I'll show you guys a few of the videos I've been listening to whilst reading this. It's been amazing. And I just keep imagining this sort of rich world with turrets and adorable things and, oh, the illustrations in this book are adorable as well. You have to see it. It is so cute. Especially the illustrations on the border. I just love these. They are adorable. And then the chapter headers also have the most vibey illustrations I've ever seen. Just look at that, that's so cute. Okay, so as you can see, I've made a lot of progress. It's like a really easy read. I've been flying through it. I'm going to make myself a nice iced coffee and read some more. And yeah, very excited to keep going in this. And then I've also got another read that I've been reading bits and bobs in here and there. And that is Things I Don't Want to Know by Deborah Levi. Also a book I picked up in my most recent book shopping slash library video. This is the first book in Deborah Levi's three-part autobiography series. And it's basically on writing and womanhood. So far, I haven't made enough progress to really say what is going on, but she's talking a lot about writers and the things they've said and her views on it. And then she sort of intertwines that with experiences from her life. And so far I've been really enjoying it. She's funnier than I thought she would be. Not that I expected her to be unfunny, but I just didn't know she was so funny. So I've been loving that because my favorite thing is when essays get to be like sad, but also funny and Deborah Levi is nailing that. So having a great time. So that was my big news uh, from this video and also my reading update. Now let's go make that iced coffee. I'm excited. <laughs> Hi, as you can see, I've been working on my shop update stuff. I've just taken a lot of photos that I'm gonna use for the new website and also the new products. I'm very, very excited to show you guys. You've just seen a few of my new products that I'm most excited about. One of my favorites is this little fairy frog bookmark. It's just one of my favorite things I've ever designed. It looks adorable when popping out of your book. And I also have a witch frog. Um, but I still need to do the photography for that. The rest of the afternoon I have another freelance job going on and then I hope to update you with my reading. I forgot the book Hedge Witch at a friend's house so <laughs> I won't be able to continue in that for the time being but I will continue on in Deborah Levi's book which I've read some more of this morning and I've really enjoyed it so far. It was getting a bit darker and deeper but it's still really enjoyable, very funny and tragic <laughs> at the same time so yeah.
Hi, so I've done some work this morning. I had a really busy work day yesterday as well, but everything went really well. I had a photo shoot with a singer. I'm going to be designing her new um, single album. So like I'm gonna be doing the cover for one of her singles. So it's very cool. I'm very excited about it. And this morning I've been doing some work for my own web shop at my own business. And this afternoon I'm going to Amsterdam with one of my close friends and we're gonna go book shopping and I'm very, very excited. I don't need to go book shopping. I've just been book shopping like last week, um, which is when I bought this book and a bunch of other books as well. So I really desperately do not need to go book shopping, but I do want to, of course. But because I have been book shopping so much already lately, I'm gonna like limit myself. I'm allowed to buy one books, two at the most, no more. <laughs> I have been reading a lot more in this one though, this morning as well, and I've almost finished it by now. It's definitely more of an autobiography than it's like essays, um, which I wasn't really prepared for. I'm not sure why I thought it was essays, but it, you know, it is about her personal life. And I've just been reading about Deborah Levi's childhood. She grew up in Africa. It talks about apartheid in South Africa as well. And it talks about her youth and her dad being taken away as a political prisoner, sort of her perspective as a child on how apartheid looked to her and how strange it is. It's definitely a very impactful story. It's always really strange to see such big political happenings through the eyes of a child because children perceive the world in such a sort of innocent way. And something that Deborah Levi has done in this book, which is really beautiful, is she sort of, she was a child that read a lot. And so she keeps sort of using signs and things she sees on the street as sort of like, parameters for the story, so things that keep coming back. So for example, at one point she's moved away to live with a different family because she's caused some trouble at school. And then that family has a little sign in their front yard that says armed response. And to her, that is like armed response. Okay, so if I do something bad, will there be an armed response, you know? And this happens with different signs throughout the story so far. I really enjoy sort of the way that that has been built up. It goes from sort of discussing writers and what does it mean to be a writer and what was her view of writers as a child growing up wanting to be like a big, mysterious, sad, wise writer. And then it goes to sort of her as a kid going through hardships and watching her dad being taken away and like her parents splitting up and sort of the impact that that has made on her. So really enjoying this. Maybe if I'm in the city today and I can find the second part, the cost of living, I will pick it up because that would be wonderful. But for now, let's go to the train station. <laughs> came home from a long day of book shopping in Amsterdam. <laughs> I say it like it was so hard to do, but it was really great. Also did some shopping. I bought some really cute stuff. I'll show you guys some of it in the morning. Now I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and then go off to bed and do some more reading because I got some new books as well. I got this. It's The Invisible Library by Genevieve Cogman. Genevieve Cogman, I think. Um, it's very fun. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. <laughs> But right now I'm too tired, <laughs> so that's that. Mm -hmm. 
Hi, so as you've just seen, had an amazing day in Amsterdam. Bought a bunch of books, had a great time, had the best lunch ever, especially because we topped it off with some cheesecake. I love cheesecake, one of my favorite things to eat, probably. So I bought two books. I bought the second part in Deborah Levi's autobiography, autofiction series, The Cost of Living. And then I also bought The Invisible Library, which is a fantasy by Genevieve Cogman. I already finished this. I finished it in like, two days so i went through that really quickly and i've also finished part one of this series things i don't want to know so i definitely had a few really 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 good reading days i think this was just so easy to read and so engrossing even though it definitely discussed some more difficult topics here and there i think her writing style is just so good and so easy to read and enjoyed it massively. This might be one of my new favorite authors. So I immediately started in this one. I haven't read a whole lot in it, but that is because in the meantime, I started reading this book. So the day me and Nina were in Amsterdam, I already started this because I was like, you know what? I'll just start it straight away. I'll have like a little fantasy in between. This book's got literally everything I love. It's got like a lot of descriptions of books and I love books that are about books. It's about this secret sort of society the invisible library and they have portals into all sorts of different worlds and they do sort of missions in all of these different worlds to retrieve special and rare magical sometimes books so that's very exciting and it's got this pair of agents that don't want to be paired up together a man and a woman and of course there's something going on there they have a lot of banter together which i really enjoyed it's a heist story it's still got some cozy vibes here and there it was I really enjoyed it. It's not like the best thing I ever read. I felt like the plot had a few holes in there. Also, sometimes the world building felt a little bit clunky to me, like we'd just be thrown into something, but I really enjoyed the vibes and I just thought it was so much fun to fly through a fantasy again because it's been a while since I've done that. So I've really enjoyed my week of reading. Another thing, when I was doing my nails, so I have this new hobby, which is doing my own nails. I've been doing poly gel, but now I've tried gel extensions for the first time. They turned out really nice, but that took like, eight hours or something. <laughs> I know it's insane, but it's like my new hobby, so it's okay. Um, but whilst I was doing that, I also listened to an audiobook. I listened to the entire audiobook of Oscar Wilde's short children's stories. Short stories for children. I should, I said that a bit weird. Short stories for children. And I recognized like a few lines from Only Dull People Are Brilliant at Breakfast, which is like a sort of quote collection from Oscar Wilde. So it was really fun to see like the stories they originated from. Oscar Wilde remains one of my favorites. He's just so witty and funny. I did really feel like these stories all had such a strong sort of morale woven into them. Like maybe that was the thing of the time that all children's stories had to be like, this is a lesson. This is a lesson you have to learn. Most of them were about like being selfish. Like you shouldn't be selfish and you should like help others and you know but they were still very clever and witty and I enjoyed all of these like super silly characters who felt they were better than everyone which is just it's so fun to read about so definitely a very good reading week I hope you guys had an amazing reading week as well and of course I also hope you're going to check out my new web shop I'm really really nervous about the website I really hope it's going to hold up well <laughs> but I just really really hope you're going to check it out maybe place an order if you want to support me your favorite artist on the internet well maybe not your favorite but I hope to make it to at least the top 10. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys have a wonderful week. Let me know in the comments down below if you've checked out the new website. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts on the rebranding, everything. God, I'm so nervous. If you've read any of these books, you can let me know as well. I don't know, just chat with me in the comments. I'm nervous. <laughs> Talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, everything. I'll stop talking now. Bye.